Hello everyone, welcome to Set Apart is 144. My name is Sister Mildred. Welcome to this channel and welcome to this ministry. Okay, so I am I'm making this video. It has been a long overdue, to be honest, okay. Um, I am addressing this a topic uh, that do, uh, do, deriving from um, emails that I've been accumulating, that I've been receiving this this past whole year now, okay? There's a lot of many of you who has reached out to me um, via email and also the um, AskMe.com um, website. You guys have been asking me questions and sharing a lot of things with me. I will not be sharing your names at all. I will keep you anonymous, but however though, um i feel like uh the type of emails that i'm receiving is dire is uh very important to address um and i'm gonna use it to help the body of christ whomever comes across this channel um whomever comes across this video okay so i've been getting a lot of emails from you guys concerning um like for example this one sister she reached out to me saying she's worried um about getting pregnant because of you know of the end times and she doesn't want to be pregnant while during tribulation she pretty much trying to um ask me like the timeline of when is tribulation going to start and if she should get pregnant or not that's one prime example Another example, somebody reached out to me um, saying, oh, um, if they should get braces because they don't want to um, get stuck with braces on if, if the mark of the beast is um, forced and they're not able to take the braces out and be stuck with braces during tribulation. That's another prime example. Another prime example is... Um, uh, someone reached out to me saying that, you know, they're having insomnia, they can't sleep, and now they, they're taking antidepressants um, um, because they have so much anxiety um, for the end times and, you know, tribulation and so on. And so I have plenty of emails talking about certain things like this you know act um and then the list goes on and on and on okay um i have i've had someone um email me saying that they, they're getting nightmares after watching this certain um prophetess here on youtube um they're, they're getting um nightmares okay one person again is um she's taking um, antidepressants because she's filled with a lot of anxiety that she didn't have before but now she does have um, people are asking me you know what they should, should do if they should if they should get pregnant if they should get braces all of these things because people are paranoid they're paranoid and the reason why they're paranoid is because people are refusing to go to Yahuwah, to go into the the, sh uh, the shadow of the Almighty, what it says in Psalms ninety one verse one, the secret place of the of the secret place, okay, the quiet place, um, spending time with Him, so that you could be under the shadow of the Almighty. Um, so instead of receiving joy and peace from the Father, you're receiving fear, anxiety depression, paranoia, because you're watching um, of, or you're listening to a voice that's not of Yahuwah, okay, that is not of God. Um, you're listening to a voice who is probably a witch or a warlock, all right, who is um, bringing you sound doctrine, they're bringing you truth, they, they're bringing you um, what's, you know, they're bringing you truth, but mixed with fear, condemnation, no hope, um, destruction, 
doom and gloom and all of these things but without um they're not they're not really truly leading you back to the father because now you're left with your feelings and emotions and fear of tomorrow because they're not speaking to you with the right spirit they're speaking to you in the spirit of the divination so now here now because of that you probably you know these people who are experiencing these things um after is because they believed and they they opened them up to these voices of people here on on youtube okay that's claiming to be sent by yahuwah but they're really not um they're on they're on a mission they are a hidden agent for satan trying to steal kill and destroy um you know it's all a, it's all about um trying to stop the body of christ from being prepared spiritually for what's coming here um we should all be getting double joy double peace double shalom within us um because we are entering we are in the, the times of matthew 24 and revelation 6 and you know we're entering the times of tribulation the great tribulation so on and so forth so you need to be the opposite of how the world is going to be um you know panic fear worry anxiety nervous all of these things people are going to be going through that so but the body of christ need to be prepared okay with peace and shalom being aware of what's about to happen but also have peace about it um and having joy knowing that you are a child of the most high um and he is going to be with you all the way till the end um he will never leave you nor forsake you okay never leave you nor forsake you that includes the great tribulation um and if you call out on him he shows up in the time of trouble all right these are verses all right these verses don't stop because tribulation is here no another young lady who wrote me um she's a caucasian um, sister, I guess, because she wrote me and she said, she asked me, she's like, Oh, um, I'm a, um, um, I apologize for what my, um, ancestors did to you guys. And, oh, um, um, is it true that am, am I going to go to hell? Um, because I'm, because I'm white. I think I'm mixed with, um, I'm like, Oh my goodness. Like, enough is enough and i'm you know again i'm just overwhelmed with a whole bunch of crap that i keep running into um that i'm seeing and so on and so forth every time i step away from social media and i come back and i start reading emails and i start seeing videos pop up and it's like a whole bunch of mess um The enemy is not playing fair, okay? He know he knows time is ticking, so he's trying to. He's he's oh in this last hour. He is um, trying to uh, cause a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion um, to, within our the body of Christ, and the problem is because people refuse. Okay, so here's the thing. People would rather go to YouTube or whatever platform that they're comfortable with and get a prophetic word instead of going to the Bible or going to prayer. You understand? So now they're putting all they're putting their full trust on 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 messengers and not every messenger is sent by Yah. So this is what the problem is. So the solution to that problem is spending time in the secret place you understand I, ca I can't say this enough i will i me i will always lead you back to yah don't don't follow me don't follow me all right i'm a, i'm I, I mess up sometimes don't follow me okay follow yahushua hamashiach um people don't people just don't understand that 
Stop idolizing people. Stop worshiping people. And go to Yah. Now, because now you're in a messed up situation. You know, a, 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 a daughter of Zion is taking antidepressants. Are you kidding me? What? No, no, no. That is not okay. No, no. Um, and yes, you can um, get pregnant. Um, it's okay to be pregnant um, during the end days. If, of course, if you are a married um, child of Yah. Okay, if, if Abba opens up your womb, it is a blessing no matter what time we're living in. Okay, D just know that regardless of what's going on around us, war, famine, pestilence, tribulation, whatever. If you are pregnant, Abba is going to always take care of you and your baby no matter what's going on here. Okay, um, your life does not stop um, because of what's going on around you. Okay. Yes, you can get braces. Okay. Just make sure that Abba is in your, is in every detail of your life. Don't make um drastic moves and um sudden changes without informing him and asking him. Involve him in every detail of your lives. Okay. Stop being paranoid. Our rock, our fortress, our refuge. Hello, these verses are still written in the Bible. They don't disappear because great tribulation is here. No, Abba, he is the same God uh, yesterday, today, and forevermore. These, him not showing up, him showing up doesn't end because tribulation is going to happen. You understand? So please stop letting fear-mongering prophets and prophetesses speak hopelessness to you. Because we're in the end and, and all of this is going to happen. The wrath of, of Yah is not for, the, is not for um, the children of Yah. The wrath of Yah is, for the, is to be judged for the world. So he, like, it's like he says, he will never leave us nor forsake us until the end. Until your very last breath, until the end, all right? There's nothing that can separate you from his love. Like what it says in, I think, Romans, I believe. Um, there's nothing that can happen that can separate you from his love, okay? Um, this is what Paul said, I think. I, th I believe it's in Romans. So um, these are verses that we can always continue to hold on to. Um, and... If you feel like you are in taking too many end time prophecies, all right, you need to have balance. I tell people all the time, get off social media, all right, get, get your mind a break um, and spend time in the presence of Yah. That is who you want to be refilled, um, refuel. Okay, and get knowledge from, sp read his word, go back to him, spend time with him. Stop listening to these YouTube prophets, all right? Because um, not everyone is, I'm, I have to be real, not everyone out here is speaking with the, with the spirit of Yah, all right? Th there's a lot of people who's over here trying to cause a lot of fear and damaging people, all right? interceding for the body of Christ uh, no well for especially for those who did reach out to me concerning these things okay um my phone is about to die so yes I'm gonna go now thank you guys for tuning in all right my name is sister Mildred uh for Christ we live for Christ our flesh dies until next time shalom